in this episode, we are going to create the front end quick start. And with that, I am your host Sarthak and this is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So we have set up the passport package for our Laravel project in the last episode, but what we can do with this passport package? So for that, Laravel give you front and quick start. With this front and quick start, you can obviously create the client ID, client secret. That means your user can create on your website the client ID, client secret and much more thing. So let's see how we can use all these things. So let's first start the server. So I will go to here, start terminal and on this terminal, I will say PHP artisan serve that's good and if i go here and say localhost and here we have so let's create this thing that means we have to publish the passport view js components so let's get this one from here and go to terminal but this terminal is started with a new server so we have to create a new tab so let's create a new tab and you can also create a new terminal that's not a problem so let's paste this php artisan vendor colon publish hyphen hyphen tag is equal to passport hyphen components so hit enter but before hit hitting enter let's go to our project so i have to open that project in sublime okay and if i go to resources assets js component you can see we only have one component but now if i go here hit enter go back and you can see we have new folder called passport and here it has three view components we don't have to care about what written inside that we have to see how we can use that Okay, so for that, let's go once more to documentation. You can see firstly, we have to call these components in our app. So copy these things and go here, sublime, open app.js, which is inside JS folder, app.js and paste anywhere just above this constant app new view. Okay paste it what this will do this will import all the components inside this passport folder into our view so if you are familiar with Vue.js you already know that we have to run npm dev or npm watch to compile all these things but obviously to have npm we have to install it first so let's go here and I will say npm install that's good and it will take some time while it's taking time to install the npm we have to do something else what that means you can see we have to use these component in a page where the user go and create its client id or client secret so for that what i will do i will just close this assets folder open views folder and here I will create a new file or I think it's better to create a new php artisan auth command so what I will do I will again open new tab here I will say php artisan make auth what this will do obviously everyone know okay so this will create authentication scaffolding for us so this means if I go here and you can see there is no login and register refresh and it's here so to register we have to connect our project to database which we have already connected that's good and now let's register ourselves so create a new account sarthak shastho bit fumes one two three four five six one two three four five and six that's good now register successfully register that's good now we have to go to sublime and as you can see 
we have inside this views folder resources views folder auth folder layout folder and this home dot blade so why not paste that components inside this home dot blade so that we can see all these things here so instead of you are logged in which is saying here i'm going to paste that so i will create firstly an div with the id of app paste these things and if i go here refresh page we will see nothing because we have not compiled our js file so let's see how about the status of npm it's still installing so let's wait for that now you can see the npm is successfully installed so let's run npm run watch and we have to spell it correctly so npm run watch okay so it's compiling everything so let's go to sublime and here you can see it's a home.blade.php laravel mix build successful that's good so this uses this layouts.app.blade so layouts.app.blade it's already having this css file and this script file that means the js file and this is the compiled by laravel mix so we just have to go to chrome and refresh and you can see we have oauth client and personal access token what these things are and how we will use we will see but let's see how we can create a new client it's super super easy but before that let's go to sql pro so i have to open sql pro and here inside this i will go to passport and here you can see in this oauth client we only have two fields okay that's very nice and obviously we have one user here that's good let's go and click on this create new client so let's open consoles or oh, no error that's good so click here and it's asking for name and redirect okay redirect url so let's give a name called test and redirect url has to be a valid url so http then i will say passport uh, dot uh, it's better to have local host colon 8000 slash callback okay hit on create and you can see this is created this is the secret this is the client id and same thing if i refresh here is here and in this way we can create a new oauth client this means suppose you this is your website a user logged in into your website he want to access some apis then obviously you have to give client secret and client id and this is the way a user on your website can create secret and id this is very cool and thanks to laravel because we don't have to do all these things in the next episode we will see how all these things can be created if you are not if you don't want to use vue.js suppose you want to use react or angular or any other framework then how we will create all these things manually so we will meet in the next episode till then if you have any doubt feel free to message me comment me and don't forget to subscribe like the films on facebook twitter and instagram bye bye